groupies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. I'm the video channel producer. This is the Culture Study. You can call me PD. And today we're going to be checking out the debut of another girl group. It's called Crystal Ball. Yes, Crystal Ball. I was about to say Crystal Bell. It's called Crystal Ball by Purple Beck. Never heard of this group. I don't know anything going in. I don't know if it's part of a reality show. I don't know what label they're with. And we'll check it out afterwards in the post review. Now, before we get into this video, as always, if you would like to support us, head on over to patreon.com slash therapy. It is where you can support us the best way possible. We don't make money doing reactions and stuff like that. Over there, you get early access to reactions at different tiers. You also have live stages, dance practices, variety show reactions, all sorts of good stuff. So we're doing the culture studies here. If you want some extra bonus content, you want to have some fun, head on over to Patreon. Now that's completely optional. Let's jump into this music video. This is your form of therapy. Bright neon green aesthetic. Very risky. What the? Her voice! Alright. I'm intrigued. Okay, fun instrumental. Whoa, okay, I kind of get a vibe of what this reminds me of. I'll talk about it afterwards. But I like it. I feel like we haven't heard music like this in girl group K-pop music in at least a few years. It's very fun, but it's also very loud. You know the term, in your face? This is very much in your ears. This girl, not sure what her name is, but she is very much the standout in this music video. Oh, that's a very beautiful set. Okay, so we are gonna watch that again because I actually want to see the music video again in correlation with the song. I think the music video very much, there's a term in the filmmaking world called pilotitis, where pilots, first episode of a TV show, when you're first coming up with the concept, you're trying to figure out the framework, it's very rough. And I think Purple Beck right now, the structure is very rough. Not the song, but at least the concept and the music video. And that has nothing to do with the girls, that's all about their production team. So I kinda wanna go and sort of pick it apart, but 
but before we do, I actually want to say I really like the song. I wasn't sure what set this song apart from other girl groups, because at this point, there are so many girl groups. You kind of have to be different to stand out. And one thing that actually really stands out to me about Purple Beck is they're doing a style of music that is, I would say, reminiscent of the girl group Secret. I don't know if anyone here has been a K-pop fan long enough to actually remember the girl group Secret. They sort of disappeared into ambiguity. But the girl group Secret, at the height of their popularity, made some pretty loud, fantastical music. It was loud and very in your face like this. And the vocals were tremendous. Now, the thing with Secret is that they went actually for a more retro vibe. Purple Beck here isn't necessarily going for a retro vibe. I'm not sure what vibe they're necessarily going for. See, that's the thing. This music video is kind of all over the place, but at least regards to the sound, it has that very similar loud, fun, confident sound that Secret had. And that's what I really like about Purple Beck, at least. Even though the music video, I think the concept is all over the place. That's why I want to rewatch it. Maybe there is a cohesiveness that I actually missed. But even though it's kind of all over the place, I actually think the girls, the performers, they do an excellent job. So let's watch this again. So this I get, them sitting around the table kind of reminds you of like a fortune teller's table, like a seance type thing. But they're out in the desert, they're in like these girl crush outfits, kind of doesn't make sense. Like, what's with the popcorn and the baked beans and all the ketchup? Stop right there. So this scene, I actually can understand when the girl, she's surrounded by all these books, you know, kind of plays into a sort of an occult theme, the occult of like figuring out magic or whatever. So that makes sense. But the main dancing that they have, they're shooting in a blank white space in music video production, especially if it's a debut. I think that is as lazy as you can get for the production team. And I know that they fill it up with like these green ficuses later, but it doesn't make up for it. I feel like the dance scenes are probably more important than the solo scenes they have trying to quote unquote convey the story, like each girl's individual solo set scene. The overall dance scene is probably what people are going to remember the most. And when you shoot against a blank white space, that's not exactly memorable. Okay, so this is the scene I talked about. Okay, they added in a bunch of plants and forage. Why? What is the consistency? Again, it's like, yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing, but what is the direction? Like, I don't think they had an art director on set for this because everything is just sort of all over the place. You know, the song is not Girl Crush, but they're wearing a very Girl Crush type uh, ensemble. It kind of doesn't fit with the aesthetic, I feel like, of the song. And I feel like overall, just... The art direction here is just, it's a huge miss. I think that's the biggest problem. You know, this could have been so memorable because this song is pretty good. All right, hold on. All right, um... I don't know how to time this, so well. Okay, we'll stop it around here. Okay, so in some scenes, you're gonna cut to a close up of the girls against the blank white wall, them singing, doing their lines. It's just them against a blank white wall. It's so empty. Like they could have at least done something a little bit more interesting, maybe bring in some interesting lighting. You know, near the end of the music video, they actually have like these LED light bars in the background that are like this purple hue. They could have rearranged it for the background of their solo scenes. I get that they're on a very low budget because this is a very low budget music video. Yes, it's very crisp. It's very clean. It's very high definition music video. But just because it's a sharp and high quality looking music video doesn't mean that the production itself was actually high quality. The production 
production itself is very low budget. And I'm glad that they invested it into the visual medium. But with the amount that they poured into these solo scenes, they could have done better than this. And I feel like this girl group, their concept could have been molded better. So this white scene right here that you're this blank scene right here, it, you know, nothing about this is eye catching. Nothing about this stands out. See, and the color scheme doesn't match either. They're going for like this warm lighting, but then the color scheme is like purple and green. And their hair is like sort of like a warm gold and brown concept. You know, sometimes um, they color the artist's hairs to complement the music video as well. And you don't see any cohesion here, none with the colors. You know, the girl with the blonde hair just kind of looks like Cherry from Luna if she was mixed with Chiho. See, their vocals are amazing. All right, so hold on. Let's pause it around. All right, let's pause it right there. So this scene, it's actually very, very well set up, you know? So they have the white background and using different lighting, they actually made the white a little bit more of a peach color. They're wearing the neon outfits and then they've got the plants set up and then they have the purple light bars which actually give it like more dimensionality so the set looks even bigger. And it looks like they have a cyan light off to the side used as a rim light. Overall, this is a very cool music video and you'll see in different shots, they're actually running smoke through the background. So they actually have an overhead light in the background and so you can actually see smoke going through there. So there's a lot going on in this scene. It does not match this song. They just thought, oh, let's do all the popular girl group things and kind of meshed it into one. Like this is the background for like a summer girl group music video, like a summer tropical type of song. This is not that type of song. See, that scene, it's shot so well, but again, it kind of doesn't match. All right, ultimately, I have to say that the debut, it was a miss. It was a miss for me, but I'm still making this reaction video because I think it wasn't the girls that was necessarily the problem. It was the production team. I think the music video production and the girls' concepts were very mishandled. As someone who has worked on some of these sets, I can tell you that what went wrong here was definitely a mixture of ideas and someone who was not in charge of one thing, which is the art direction. When you work on a high budget music video production, you have an art direction director or a director who has a vision for what the video should look like. When you're on a lower budget music video and you've got multiple producers to deal with and you're an inexperienced director, you're going to be taking all these different ideas from these different producers who are telling you, oh, this is hot. This is what's in. And then you're just kind of mesh them all together. I have certainly made that mistake before when you listen to all these different producers and you cannot really stand out for yourself and you don't really sort of say, hey, I have a solid vision for this. I mean, ultimately, it's just the debut they have many comebacks to kind of grow and change themselves. I know many groups right now that I love and I think are doing really well uh, that had kind of weak debuts. So honestly, the song is really good and I really like what they're going for, but the music video and the concept was a miss for me. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Culture Study. Hope you learned something today. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Leave a comment down below. If you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos just like this. Uh, also, if you would like to uh, support us non-monetarily, you can't do that with money. You can help us out for free by clicking like down below, leave a comment, hit subscribe if you're new, turn on the notification bell, and uh, go ahead and check out all our other videos over here.